This video will show you the differences between a major in math and finance and how to make the most of them. According to Payscale, the average pay of someone with a finance degree is $72,000 and the average pay for someone with a math degree is $77,000. The difference might be that math majors tend to go into roles such as software engineering, which can pay better than finance jobs at the entry level. A finance degree can qualify you for a number of different types of jobs that are available to people with just a bachelor's degree. According to the data on Payscale, types of jobs that finance majors get includes financial analyst, data analyst, investment analyst, financial advisor and a credit analyst. Something to consider about the jobs you will qualify for with a finance degree is that they are often reported as being stressful jobs. This is likely to be due to high working hours, high levels of competition and some of them being commission based. Another thing to consider is that it can be difficult to land more lucrative roles in areas such as investment banking if you do not go to a target school. With that being said, finance majors do get paid well compared with most majors and finance jobs are expected to grow by more than average according to the Bureau of Labour Statistics. Also, finance jobs do have the potential to pay very well if you can make it into senior level positions. The Bureau of Labour Statistics predicts that the demand for mathematicians and statisticians will rise by 33% by 2029 compared to 2019. This is mainly due to the surge in data that companies have been receiving in recent years that they need people with mathematical and statistical skills to make sense of. Since mathematics is used in many different fields, a math degree should open you up to many different job opportunities. According to Payscale, the most common reported jobs people with a math degree report having are software engineer, data analyst, data scientist, math teacher, actuary and a financial analyst. However, a math degree is a somewhat general degree that is not specific to a certain type of job in the way something such as computer science can be to software engineering. If you do end up choosing a math major, this means that you should take courses from the field that you want to enter, do summer internships and to complete projects related to that field as well in order to be competitive when seeking a job. Many math majors go into software engineering after graduation. If you want to qualify for software engineering jobs, it would help to make sure to take a class in data structures and algorithms since the material from that class gets tested heavily in software engineering interviews. It would also help to try to get some internships as a software engineer while in college and to complete software engineering projects as an undergrad. The three most common reported jobs for people with a math degree are software engineer, data analyst and data scientist. Currently, data science is becoming a very popular career path among math majors and more roles have been opening up to people with just a bachelor's degree. To qualify for data science jobs, it would help to make sure to learn Python programming, data analysis using the Pandas library, machine learning and to complete data science projects as an undergrad, and to try to get data science internships. You might find that your university does not offer classes related to data science or machine learning. In that case, it would be necessary for you to self-study using books and websites such as edX, Coursera, Kaggle, DataCamp, FreeCodeCamp and Udemy. Also, completing personal projects is important because there is a lot you might not learn about in your classes that is actually important for jobs. For example, in your computer science classes, you might not learn anything about areas in web development, but there are a lot of software engineering jobs in web development. By completing some full-stack web development projects, you will be better able to qualify for these roles and you'll have evidence of your skills. Similar things could be said for data science and machine learning. 
you'll likely have a hard time finding a job with just a math degree. However, a math degree combined with classes from computer science, data science, machine learning and projects in data science, machine learning and software engineering would be a much more employable combination right now since all three pay well and have very strong predicted job growth. A finance undergraduate degree can have some moderately difficult classes, however there will not be many math heavy classes. The math major is generally considered as being one of the hardest majors available. It becomes especially hard when you enter your junior year since most of your classes will be proof based which tend to be much harder than the more computational classes. Overall, you can expect a finance major to be a lot easier than a math major. Classes you can expect to take in a finance major can include micro and macroeconomics, personal finance concepts, financial management, financial accounting, financial forecasting, corporate finance and managerial accounting. As a math major, you will be taking courses primarily from mathematics, however you will also have the opportunity to take classes from computer science, physics and statistics. Some classes you can expect to take in your freshman and early sophomore years include single and multivariable calculus, linear algebra, discrete math, introduction to computer science and introduction to physics. In your junior and senior years, you can expect to take advanced math classes, including differential equations, abstract algebra, real analysis, graph theory, complex analysis, topology, and number theory. Depending on your specific program, you might also be able to count classes from other disciplines towards your required core classes. For example, I was able to count a two-semester sequence in calculus-based statistics as core classes when I did my math degree. At the undergraduate level, you can expect a finance degree to qualify you for more jobs when compared with a math degree by itself. Also, a finance major will require a lower time commitment. This should help to give you more time to apply for summer internships and to complete projects related to the jobs that you are interested in. Additionally, finance jobs have a high potential pay in the long run. However, finance jobs tend to require long working hours and the jobs often have low job satisfaction ratings. Before choosing the major, it would help to consider what sort of working environment would suit you the most and what you would find satisfying personally. While a math degree won't qualify you for as many jobs by itself, it can still be very employable if you take classes related to specific job roles, complete projects and get summer internships. Also, when combined with the right classes, the jobs a math degree can qualify you for tend to have very good levels of job satisfaction, growth and pay. As mentioned, a math degree combined with computer science, statistics and data science or machine learning classes where possible, and personal projects in software engineering, data science or machine learning, will make the major a lot more employable. An additional way to improve your job prospects would be to minor in another degree that also has good job prospects, such as computer science. Doing this could help you to qualify for more programming type roles and could help you when applying to graduate school for things such as machine learning or even computer science. If you are interested in a math degree, I would suggest leaning towards an applied math degree instead of a pure math degree. The reason for this is that an applied math degree should include fewer proof-heavy classes and more computational classes that are more employable, but it will still be important for you to choose your classes carefully, even in an applied math degree. I have another video on my channel about a pure versus applied math degree. If you want to major in math, but you think that you will want to work in finance, Getting a finance minor would still help you to qualify for most finance jobs and the math major could actually increase your chances for some of them. 
However, I would still recommend that you take classes from computer science and statistics where possible, since it will help you to qualify for many more jobs that have very good metrics.